crispy. Hey everybody, this is Tom and I'm back again with a haul video. Um, before I get on to the haul, I just wanted to uh, thank everybody for entering my contest who has entered my contest. Um, a lot of comments on the video and then quite a few video submissions. And uh, it's funny, a lot of people feel the same way uh, that I've seen about old books versus new books. And people are kind of split down the middle on, on old video, uh, long videos versus short videos. Um, but I just want to thank everybody uh, very much for entering. And uh, there's one week left. Um, I'm going to end the contest on Monday. Uh, I also want to thank um, Bug Nice Ten for the, the little introduction clip before my video that you saw. Um, Bug Nice, uh, for those of you who do not know, is I guess the founder of the ACBA uh, community, um, which stands for Articulated Comic Book Art. And uh, basically, uh, it's a community where folks take their action figures and they recreate scenes that they uh, seen in their favorite comic books. Uh, using backdrops and, 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 you know, diorama pieces and some really elaborate set building that people have uh, put the time into. Um, you guys should check them out. Uh, I'll put a link uh, in my description bar to, uh, to, the, to the community channel. Um, just, uh, if you get a second, just check it out. There's some really cool stuff. Um, so on to the haul. Um, it's not a big haul this week. Um, got a little hodgepodge of some things though that I wanted to show. Uh, first thing is I went to Walmart the other day and uh, my Walmart had these figures on sale and they were five dollars a piece. Um, there is the receipt to show you that uh, I got them for five bucks each and I wanted to buy more but uh, you know, I figured I'd let other people get a chance at them, and uh, plus I didn't have a lot of cash on me at the time, and you know, I normally spend most of my money on buying comics, so I didn't want to go through all, all my comic money picking up figures, but I did complete my Thanos, um, this was the whole Thanos wave, I bought them all except for Batroc, which I already had, um, but we got um, uh, Hellcat, Comes with the arm, Spider Woman with the other arm and the head, and yet another Captain America and Iron Man figure, um, which I don't mind too much since they were only five bucks each. Um, I can put the Iron Man in my Iron Man armory display, and the last figure I got was the Hulk. So, I mean, these figures are normally at least 19, you know, to 20 bucks a piece, maybe more in your, you know, your hobby or comic shop that you go to. So, to score these at five bucks a piece is, is ridiculous. I may go back uh, in a couple of days and see if there's anything left. Maybe I'll pick a couple more up if they're still there. Uh, I doubt they are. So, hit up your Walmart, guys. Um, if you're trying to, you know, get that Thanos wave put together, um, maybe they have they're on clearance at your Walmart as well. So this next thing here um, is an envelope, and uh, you see the date, the postmark on that, March 25th, 2012. I used to collect autographs through the mail with uh, different uh, baseball players and football players. And I don't do it anymore just because uh, my attentions are elsewhere. But uh, I just got this back in the mail the other day. And I figured I'd open it up on, on camera just to see it. Um, share it with everybody. So uh, he even had to put some extra stamps on there. So let's see what we got in here. I don't even remember who it was. Oh, Kerry. Whoops. Sorry about that. This is cool. Kerry Wood, uh, when he was with the Yankees. So, um, very happy to get that. I had no recollection of even um, writing that. This damn thing fell. Just give me one second, guys. Sorry. Every video I seem to bring it to a screeching halt. I've got to get invested in a tripod of some sort. There we go. Uh, I don't think there was anything else in here. Nope. 
So that was awesome. Uh, I think he's retired now, uh, so he must be getting caught up on fan mail that he received while he was a player. So that was cool. Add that to my Yankee collection. So um, this, the next group of books are a combination of stuff that I got at flea market. Uh, so I got this book and this other one at uh, the flea market. And uh, I paid a total of four bucks for the two of them. Uh, the Loot Crate Star Wars number one. And Loot Crate uh, Batman Endgame number 36. Uh, I got a Werewolf um, Giant Size number five. This book was actually f only 50 cents. And it's not in the greatest of condition. Um, but uh, I didn't have it, so I'll add that to my Werewolf by Night collection. Um, uh, this book here, Magnus Robot, F Robot Fighter. Um, it's uh, it's uh, an early uh, appearance of him. Um, I think I only paid a dollar for this, actually. Um, again, not in the greatest of shape, um, but uh, he's making a bit of a com comeback. Uh, I got it turned on to this character by uh, Matt, Comic Quarter 410. Um, he was talking about picking up some early uh, Magnus Robot Fighters, and uh, he's with, um, God, I forget the independent company he's with now. Uh, Image, maybe, not Image. Um, those who read it know who he's with, but I thought that was a pretty cool find for a dollar. I don't have any of these books in my collection, so I saw it, um, it was like only, I think, like a quarter. Um, it was in decent shape. So I picked it up at Charleston, Charlton Comics, uh, one of those cheesy, you know, romance comics. And it's in nice shape, so I figured I might as well get one for my collection. Move these out of the way. Uh, I was at Barnes & Noble the other day, and uh, I'm not buying new books for the most part anymore. Um, but I, I picked this up. It's a new stand edition, uh, Batman 43 first appearance of uh, this guy I think his name is Mr. Bloom so uh, I was glad to pick this up for a five dollar cover price and then my local shop uh, I was going through the dollar bins and I grabbed uh, a couple of these books here uh, Michael Turner covers Identity Crisis number two number three number four And number five, I have some of the other issues, so I might have the whole run of this now. I'll have to take a look. I haven't gone to check in my bins yet. And then he also had some uh, Power Man, uh, Luke Cage Power Man, in the dollar bin. Um, and I was doing it from memory, so there may be one or two doubles in here. But at a dollar at a piece, I figured I couldn't go wrong. So we got number 39. Number 41, number 44, and I'm really looking forward to the, um, the Netflix series. Um, this is a cool one, number 45. I did not know that Jim Starlin did, uh, did any work on Power Man, but he did this cover here. I'm a big Jim Starlin fan. Number 46, this one may be a double, I think. 47. So all those were a buck a piece, and then this book has been getting some uh, some love lately. It's uh, uh, first or second appearance of uh, Misty Knight. It again not in the greatest of shape. You can t take a look here. It's uh, it looks a little better on camera as most of these things do than they are in real life. Um, but it's got some dirt here, some fading here. Um, but it's a hot, relatively hot book now, and I found it for a buck, so I don't have to do the chase on that. And then uh, I found this in the quarter bin. I, I thought this was a key of some sort. Um, I, I thought it had something to do with Vigilante, but it, it doesn't. It's just a book that I've seen a lot over the years. So I'll add it to my Teen Titans uh, collection. So this next uh, little package of books um, I got for $4.99, and I got it at uh, 5 below. And they claim you got a $15.95 value in here. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. I figured I'd open it up on, on camera to see what we got. So I'll break out my handy dandy knife and see what we got in here. 
I've heard that there's some pretty good variants in, in these little packs, so I, I took a chance. I mean, there's a variant right here. It's a second print variant of uh, Uncanny Avengers. Uh, this is the issue where um, I think one of the characters die, um, but they don't stay dead. Um, none of these folks ever do. Take these out without wrecking them. So there's a total of four books in here. There were some other packs as well. Uh, but I just grabbed the one. It was more than likely it's just a bunch of junk in here. Um, so we got Inhuman number three. Uh, Original Sin, Uncanny X-Men number 23, second printing. The Last Will and Testament of Charles Xavier. We got the Uncanny Avengers second print uh, variant on that. And last... Uh, Wolverine, One Month to Die, number 11. Not bad, I guess. Gives me some decent stuff to read. Uh, this next book, I'm really disappointed. Um, I picked it up my at my shop, and uh, when the guy put it in the bag, I didn't realize it till I got home. He bent the cover on, on the book. Uh, I'm devastated over that. Maybe that's a little too strong of a word, but... Uh, now i got to try to find this book uh, again. Um, it's a great Adam Hughes cover. Uh, I haven't read any of the issues yet. This is Barbed Wire number 3. Um, really like that cover a lot. It's one of the, his better covers. I'm going to have to try to find it, though. This next book's a book that uh, I've seen before, and if I always, if I ever, anytime I see it, I pick it up uh, if it's on the cheap. Detective Comics number 583. This is one of those books that's, you know, a quiet key that not a lot of people know about. Uh, it's first a appearance of Ventriloquist. Um, also a pretty cool Mike Mignola cover. So I picked that up for a dollar. Um, you know, you see this on eBay anywhere from 10 to $15 or, or more. So I figured, you know, I'm not going to leave that behind for a buck. Found this in the quarter bin. But, uh, sorry. Best of Brave and the Bold, Batman and the House of Mystery. Um, figured it'd be a pretty cool read, so wanted to check that out. This is a title that I always wanted to read, and I found this in the quarter bin, and it's, it's in rough shape. Um, this is issue one of Contest of Champions. I gather it's similar to Secret Wars in some respect. Um, but I think it's only a three-issue limited series, so um, if I find two and three, I'll read that. Found another one of these in the quarter bin. Um, Shadow of the Bat. This is like my third copy of this. Uh, first appearance of uh, Victor Zaz. Um, plus, it's still in the poly bag, so I grabbed that. And then uh, I went to Zap Comics today, and I picked up uh, Red Sonia number 17. Because uh, I've stopped picking this up. Um, I paid cover price for it. Um, but I saw it there. And I, I figured I might as well get it. And see what's been going on. I haven't read it in a while. I might have missed the last two or three issues. Uh, this is a cover that I saw online. That I had to have. Um, I like Terry Dotson. I like how he does Wonder Woman. Um, and this is the Green uh, Lantern variant. Number 44. Um, for Wonder Woman. I love that cover. This is another cover I saw online that I, I absolutely had to grab this, uh, Harley Quinn number 20. I think this is a really cool cover. Um, I'm glad to pick this up. I have issue one of this, haven't read it yet, so I grabbed issue two, Conan, uh, Red Sonja Conan. Um, I also have the Alex Ross um, variant for number one coming to me um, in a trade that I made with uh, Fool Killer, uh, so he's got that for me. Um, the last couple of books, I picked this pack up for eight bucks. Um, Star Wars Rebel Heist. Um, these are all a four part, four part series, uh, or at least the first four issues. I don't know if it's more than four, but I got it because they are all Adam Hughes covers. So there's number one and number two. And number three and number four. Um, these white covers have a tendency of getting a little dirty, so there's some scuffing going on there. So I'm just glad to find those, and those were only 8 bucks. This I'm glad to grab. Um, I have this already, and I thought it was, a bit, I thought it was an upgrade, but uh, 
it's a slight upgrade, not by much, but it's the first appearance of Red Sonia. Um, it's got a bad crease right down the middle, um, even a slight rip right in the middle. Um, but it was only 10 bucks for first appearance of Red Sonia, so now I have two decent copies of it. Um, it presents really well, though. It's it, I think the cover looks nicer than my other one that I have. Um, so I was glad to grab that because I'm a huge Red Sonia fan. And this last book uh, I found at the flea market. Um, it's the hardcover edition for Kick-Ass. Uh, I paid, he wanted three on it. I told him I only had two dollars, uh, you know, because I didn't want to break another, you know, twenty. Uh, and so he sold it to me for two bucks. So the hardcover edition for Kick-Ass. Uh, so I'm looking forward to reading that. Uh, like I said before, I'm not a big fan of John Romita Jr. Um, but his work on this is really good. Um, I read some of the other... Uh, Kick-Ass series, um, I think Kick-Ass 2, and uh, I liked that, but uh, this this looks pretty cool, so um, I like the movie a lot, so I'm looking forward to uh, reading this. So that's it, um, just a small haul this week, um, the video looks like it's going to be less than 20 minutes, um, those of you who said you like smaller, shorter videos, um, this is right in your wheelhouse, short, sweet, and to the point. Um, Again, thank you everybody for your entries um, in my contest. Um, hope to see just a couple of more. That'd be great. Um, that's why I made it. Uh, you can enter by leaving comments. Um, just just give more people an opportunity to uh, to enter. And um, until next guy, next time, guys. Thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.